Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naisha if you're new here. And in today's video, we are going to be doing my BoxyCharm Premium and Base Box unboxing. So again, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Naisha, I'm a mom of two. I'm obsessed with subscription boxes. That's why I have two BoxyCharm boxes. I have the Base Box and the Premium Box and every three months I upgrade to the Boxy Lux. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxings, hauls, shopping, looking glamorous in the middle of the afternoon for no reason, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see what I got in this month's base box, as well as my premium box, please keep on watching. So if you're new to BoxyDrum, it is a makeup and beauty subscription service. Uh, you get makeup, skincare, and sometimes in the Boxy Locks you get lifestyle items. So the base box is $25 a month and you should get a value of $120 or more. And the premium is $35 a month and you should get a value of $175 or more. If you are interested in checking out BoxyDrum, I'll leave a link down below for you to sign up, as well as a code that they always give to new subscribers that helps you to get extra points or some freebies, check it out in the description box. So first we're gonna jump into the base box, the $25 a month box. So every month we get a card in the box that tells you all the items, their prices, a little description. The variation numbers are now codes, which I don't know how much sense it makes. And this month's theme is fresh start. Makes sense, it's January, everybody tries to make a fresh start. Me not so much. Okay, so the first thing in this box is the Ciate London De Velvet palette. So there was a choice between uh, this palette and the Violet Voss Olive View palette. And I got this one, which I'm pretty upset about because this is what it looks like on the inside. Now, don't get me wrong. It is a beautiful palette. These two glittery shimmery colors here are absolutely stunning. But I say this in almost every video. I like palettes that have colors that are deep enough to deepen up my look. This look that I'm wearing today is actually the palette that we got in the premium box. So we'll talk about that in a second. But essentially... And it looks even lighter and ashier on with all the lights. But essentially, the deepest colors in this palette will only work as transition colors for me. Which I can do because I did it with this with the other palette. But I have way too many palettes. I have, what, over 100 palettes at this point? I have way too many palettes to for this to really stand out for me. This will be a companion palette. I'll have to get another palette out to work with this. And I'm very lazy when I'm doing my makeup. I literally just want to pull out one palette, do my look, and keep it moving. So, I will not be using this. But I do have to say, it is a beautiful palette. I know the Ciate London formula is pretty decent from their last palette that we got, which I already decluttered. And I will be decluttering this as well. I'm probably going to put it on my Mercari. So if you're interested in getting this palette at a really, really good price, you can check out my Mercari. It's always linked down below. Create molten metal and matte looks with this palette. Featuring a mix of hypermetallic soft shimmers and velvety smooth mattes, the innovative powder formulation delivers high pigment with super soft application. And the Ciate London Velvety Eyeshadow Palette, which is a new launch in the box, is $30 pretty pricey for such a compact palette but of course I'm not going to swatch it or anything based on the colors and the glitteriness it really does look um, very pretty just for me I need something a little a little deeper a little bit more next thing in the box is the pharmacy daily greens oil free gel moisturizer with moringa and papaya so when I saw the spoiler that we were either going to get this one the gel moisturizer or the toner i knew that i would be happy with either one and basically if i didn't get one i would go on to add-ons and buy the other so when i saw that i got this one i went on to add-ons and i purchased the toner which hasn't gotten here yet i have a couple add-ons that we'll talk about after we go through the boxes it comes in a nice green glass bottle see what it smells like it's a nice green gel like formula smells really nice smells like papaya Ooh, smells like something to eat. I will try not to eat it. 
And apparently this was made exclusively for BoxyCharm. It is 1.7 fluid ounces, so it is full size. An oil-free and silicone-free daily moisturizer that delivers lightweight, lasting hydration without leaving skin feeling greasy. This formula contains hyaluronic acid and a blend of phytonutrients known to help clear pores and reduce shine, which is perfect for my skin because I have oily, acne-prone skin. And the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer is $38. Pretty pricey, but you know, Pharmacy is that mid-range skincare brand price, so I expected it to be that that price. The toner, however, that I picked up in add-ons was $12. So if you are a BoxyCharm subscriber, I highly suggest checking out the add-on store, checking out Boxy Pop-Up, because you get the stuff that you want that's normally $40 for $12-$15. And I'm here for it. Next thing in the box and my choice was the Avant by face hyaluronic acid rejuvenated micellar water so it looks a little bit separated you gotta shake it to combine it and it's not that the container is blue the container is actually clear and the liquid inside is blue so i thought that was interesting uh two it has hyaluronic acid you know i love hyaluronic acid and my micellar water that i'm using right now the tart one that has a little squeezy top that one's almost done so I really needed another one, so I was glad when I saw this as the choice. And I kind of went in to get my choice for January late. I almost forgot. So by the time I got in there, a lot of the other choices were gone. So this was the only one that I thought was decent enough, so I grabbed this one. I do like the bottle of the Tarte one better with like the squeezy top because I use my cellar water to remove my eye makeup. So I'll probably just pour this into the Tarte bottle. Yeah, we have seen Avant uh, skincare in the boxes, in this box, in my Ipsy box, in my Glossy box, time and time again. I am not new to Avant, and I already know this is pricey because it's Avant. Their ish is pricey. Infused with replenishing ingredients, the micellar water presents an oil phase aiming to instantly dissolve resilient and waterproof makeup and a micellar water phase to capture impurities. It dissolves makeup without rubbing or rinsing. All right, perfect for my eyes because you don't need to be rubbing to get the makeup off. And the Avant Skincare by Face Hyaluronic Acid Rejuve Rejuvenating Micellar Water is $90. $90 for micellar water. When I tell you, when I put this on a cotton pad, it better just be one gentle swipe across my eyelid and it takes everything off. Because for $90, when Garnier is like 10 is it that much? Garnier is like 8 $9. And you get a big bottle. And I really like Garnier. That's one of my favorites. So $90, when you can get 10 bottles of Garnier, this ish better just clean everything off by itself. Next thing in the box is the Dr. Brandt DNA Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt Triple Peptide Eye Cream. I've gotten a lot of Dr. Brandt from uh, BoxyCharm and other boxes before. It is a pretty good brand. Comes in a nice squeezy tube. And you know, it's an eye cream. It helps with wrinkles, dark circles, puffiness. And I'm here for it. Apply AM and PM to eye contour. I use eye cream every day, twice a day, to help with my bags, to help with the wrinkles. We want to keep looking youthful. I've been using eye cream since in my 20s. Uh, when I was in high school, we had a whole skincare makeup guru come in. She talked about the benefits of starting like skincare and eye cream early. And I started like really getting into skincare and my eye cream and all that stuff literally when I was 18. So thank you to that lady for putting me on early. I still got dark circles though because I don't sleep. <laughs> Pray for me. This deeply hydrating peptide powered cream helps diminish all signs of aging around the delicate eye area including lines, wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness for refreshed, younger-looking eyes for all skin types. Here for it. And the Dr. Brand Do Not Age with Dr. Brand Triple Peptide Eye Cream is $82. Uh, has Dr. Brand always been that expensive? You know what? I think the last thing I got from them was around $60, and that was a while ago. $82. This thing better be amazing. 
because right now I have a good molecules eye cream. That's the one that I've been using for a couple of days now that everybody raves about. That's six dollars. So eighty two dollars versus six dollars. I got to use these side by side and see what's up. And the last thing in our base box is the Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. I've seen a lot of people get this. So I like the green packaging with the orange cap and sweet orange and coconut lip balm. Smells nice. Smells fruity. I love me a good lip balm, especially now it's wintertime. My lips are dry. <sighs> Essential oils of sweet orange and coconut give this lip balm its citrusy, tropical aroma and silky smooth consistency. Sweet orange is packed with vitamin C, which is known to even skin tone and protect against free radicals. Coconut is a natural emollient that moisturizes for soft, supple lips. And the Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm is $33 for a lip balm? You better put this thing on and your lips better be juicy for a week. $33? Damn. All right, I did the math and uh, our January base, BoxyCharm base box was a value of $273. Just a reminder, this box costs $25 and we have a value of $273. Some of the skincare that was in this box was pretty pricey and that lip balm, $33. So yeah, well, now let's see what we got in premium and let's see if premium is gonna match the bar that we already set. Okay, so of course we got the same card, same theme, fresh start. And the first thing we have in the box, you can't even see these lights are out of control. First thing in the box is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I was really excited when I saw that we were going to get this. I have seen this all over Instagram. All the influencers got it when it first came out. And apparently this mask is really, really nice and hydrating for people who travel a lot. I haven't traveled anywhere in clearly over a year. Thank you, COVID-19. Upgrade your skin to a business class complexion no matter what time your red eye gets in or what time your head hits the pillow. I like that. They're keeping the whole jet lag flying theme. And I believe this brand was started by a YouTuber influencer. And they have a couple more masks, but this was the first one and this has been really hyped. Life's turbulence means that we can all get that lag, leaving skin stressed, tired, and thirsty. Used as a nightly mask, daytime moisturizer, or in-flight lifesaver, this multitasker's nourishing vitamins, ceramides, and antioxidants leaves skin instantly renewed, radiant, and ready for anything. I'm always here for a nice hydrating mask. Keep your skin. I like having that nice youthful glow, as they say. So I love making sure that my skin is hydrated. And the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask is $48. And the next thing that we have in the box, and is what I'm wearing on my face, is the the Over Good To Go Mini Mix Palette. So this is what it looks like on the inside. We have a wheel of highlighters. There are four different colors. Uh, I mix all of them when I put on my face. I use the, this is a bronzer, blush, I use the highlighter, and I use a couple of the colors. The tutorial of this look is going to be up on my Instagram. It's also on TikTok if you're interested. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. They're always linked down below. Most of my tutorials will be on there. And, you know, this is the palette. I believe all premium BoxyCharmers got this palette. It is, well, it was initially exclusive to BoxyCharm, but I believe they have it on their site now. And it's a cute palette. I like that there's a lot of things in here. You know me, I like just picking up one palette and having everything in it. It lessens the need for anything else. But my complaint, like with the Ciate London palette, this is the deepest color that's in here and that's the color that i use as my transition that's what you're predominantly seeing on my lid and then i use this orangey bronzy color on my lid so this is a transition this is on my lid blended it out with this and then the green is on the lower lash line so it's a decent palette it's pretty cute under normal circumstances i would want something else to deepen it up i'm really happy that the bronzer is on the deeper side because most of the time the bronzers that we get in palettes are way too light so i'm glad that this one was deep enough to work for my skin tone and the blush was really pretty and goes really nice with the colors that are in here love that it has a pop of green you know i'm here for a warm lid and a, a green or blue lower lash line so i really really like that 
I like the Ofra formula. It's not my favorite. Their shimmers seem to be on the thinner side, almost like they're toppers. And they're very consistent with the formula of their highlighters. So I just wish that their shimmers, some of them were a little bit more pigmented. But it's not bad. It's a nice formula. I absolutely love their face products. Their face products are some of my favorite. If you want a blinding highlight, go to Ofra. But yeah, it's a cute palette. I'm definitely going to keep using it. I have a lot more, a lot of other Ofra palettes that I've picked up recently. Um, I don't think my Black Friday Part 2 haul is up yet, but when it is, you're going to see that I picked up a couple more Ofra palettes. And you know what? I can just use them all in conjunction. And, you know, if I really need something to deepen it up, I will. But it's not my favorite thing to do. Manifest good to glow looks every time in this mini full face palette of warm shimmers and fresh neutrals. Featuring Ofra's best selling highlighter, All of the Lights, this lightweight, magnetic, and interchangeable palette is the perfect add on to pop into your makeup bag. They're right about it being an add on, not a standalone palette. And the Ofra Cosmetics Good to Go Mini Mix palette is $39. Actually a pretty good price for all of the product that you get in this palette. Next thing in the box is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Instant Recharge, Instant Recharge Setting Powder. And I got the color Honey. Here it is. Like I said, by the time I went on to make my choices, this was my choice. By the time I went on to make my choices, a lot of the other things were already gone. So I ended up getting this because I really didn't like the other choices. But I already have this powder. And I think the color I have is Cashew. So I'm not going to open this one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. If I'm going to give it away or put it on Mercari or just keep it. I don't know. The one that I have, the I, I've used that powder several times. I really like it. It's very heavily scented, but I like it. It's very matte as well. So if you want a matte powder that mattifies your skin, the Fenty Beauty Powder is where it's at. Diana was obsessed with creating a setting powder that wouldn't flash back, so Pro Filter was born in eight versatile shades to melt into your unique skin tone, letting you set, perfect, and brighten without a trace. It works all day to blur the look of pores, fine lines, and imperfections. I would have to agree, it really does set into the skin nicely and smooths everything out. Really gives you a perfect look. And the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retail Setting Powder is $32, right on par with most setting powders, and I do feel like you get a lot of product in this box. Next thing in the box is this Lashes MD Eyelash and Eyebrow Conditioner. So this is what it looks like. It is essentially a eyelash and eyebrow serum. Comes with a tiny little brush that you can go over your lashes and also your eyebrows. Please excuse the background noise. The four-year-old is here. She goes back into school next week, so there will be absolute silence. A lash serum that promotes fuller, stronger, and healthier eyelashes and brows. Our signature eyelash condition and nourishing formula is specifically designed to help eyelash growth and support strong lashes. Okay, I mean, I like trying these because I my eyelashes are long enough but they're very thin they're not thick at all so if there's something that i can use that can actually help it grow thicker and i've said a hundred times my lower lash line i have four lashes down there so if there's anything that can help some more of them pop out that would be great so i'll try it and then you know if it can help the bald spots on my eyebrows i'll give anything a try at this point and the lashes md eyelash growth serum is 69.95 those those are usually pricey so it's right around the range that i would expect also in the box we got another fenty beauty product and this is the full frontal volume lift and curl mascara in cousin black i actually have the mini size of this that i got a while ago in one of the little where did i get it in Oh, it was in a little sample pack. And then, again, when you see my Black Friday Cyber Monday haul part two, you'll see that I got another little set that they have that has the mini of this. So I have two minis of this, and now I have the full size, and I actually really like this mascara. I'm not going to open it because I don't want to open it and start the process of it drying when I know I'm not going to use it right away. But what's unique about this mascara is that the brush is flat on one side and then has the regular spikes on the other side so 
I think that's pretty unique to really help people who have longer lashes or thinner lashes like myself really manipulate the brush to see what works best for you. And the formula is actually really black and really nice. And designed to deliver Rihanna's full lash look, full frontals, lightweight ultra black formula was specifically paired with an exclusive flat to fat brush. The fat side holds max product to quickly load and lift lashes. The flat side defines and curls. And the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara is $24. Again, expected price for a mid-range mascara. And the last thing in the box is the PMD Silver Pure Silver Infused Microfiber Makeup Removing Cloth. I absolutely love makeup removing cloths i have a bunch of them this is what i use to remove my makeup it's this beautiful pink i'm trying to figure out what if how is it silver infused where is the silver and what does the silver do it's a pretty decent size feels just like the makeup eraser i have a couple makeup erasers and the face halo i have a bunch of them so after i take the micellar use the micellar water and take the eyeshadow off and then I wet this with water and I take most of the makeup that I can take off without dragging on my skin then I go in with cleansers I prefer to use these to makeup wipes because it's better for the environment and you know once you dirty this up you just wash it and you can use it again and not just buy more and more wipes that seem to be like the the biggest bane of the environment's existence so and like I said before, if I need wipes, I would just use baby wipes because I have lots of those in my house. Lots. I buy them by the case. Get back into your pure self with Silver Pure. Remove makeup and wash your skin with the antibacterial and anti-aging benefits of Pure Silver. Ensuring a clean end to your day. And the PMD Beauty Silver Pure Makeup Removing Cloth is $30. $30? Damn that's expensive and i think it's because it has silver in it um but a makeup eraser regular price is twenty dollars right now there's a bunch of them on sale for fourteen dollars and you can probably get it in tj maxx and marshall's for like seven or eight dollars it's going to be an obscure color it's probably going to be leopard or something but they all work the same way all right, and I did the math, and everything in our premium box has a total retail value of $244. So I think it's really funny that the $25 base box has a higher value than the $35 premium box. But you know, these things happen from time to time. As long as it's over the expected value, I'm fine with it and I'm not mad. Those are the two boxes you let me know down in the comments which one you think was actually better. Which one was more worth the price? The base box $25, $273 worth of product. The premium box $35, and what did I say? $44 worth of product. So let me know down in the comments which one you think was worth it. If they both were, I'm happy with both of them. I'm really happy with a lot of the products that I got in both boxes. So I think it's definitely worth my $60. Okay, and while I have you guys here, I figured I might show you guys what I got for my add-ons. So like I mentioned before, I got the Pharmacy Gel Moisturizer, and I knew I wanted the toner, so I already uh, purchased a toner for $12 on, on add-on. That one hasn't gotten here yet, but the other ones got here, which is actually pretty quick for add-ons. They usually take a little bit longer. So, first thing I got was the, uh, the Violet Voss All of You Forever palette because, like I said, when I saw that I got the Ciate London one, I was like, hell no, I don't want that. So, I went ahead and picked up the All of You Forever palette from Violet Voss. And this is what it looks like. Now, I know this is not anything spectacular, but I absolutely love Olive olive green camo like absolutely love it that's my vibe and then look at this look at these look at these two deep colors in here violet voss violet voss knows what's up so we have some more olivey green tones and a lot of neutrals so this is a really nice useful everyday if you're into olive greens like i am you can do get a lot of looks out of this palette and i really like the violet voss formula so I picked this one up for $12 in the add-on store. So 
I'm going to get rid of the Seattle London one and I'll do some looks with the Violet Floss one. I also finally picked up this Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. So this has been in and out of add-ons and people have gotten this in their box. It's actually been around for a while and I at first had no interest in picking it up because I thought it was just a regular old honey mask or, you know, nothing too exciting to it. But a lot of people have been raving about it. First of all, this whole magnetic spatula at the top is genius because for other masks that I have something like this, they're gone. They're in the abyss. They're the same place my hair ties go to die. Who knows where they are? So the fact that this is magnetized and you can keep it on here and keep it together with the mask is really really good and I saw someone there's this I can't remember her name but she does like boxycharm awards and she was talking about this mask and how much she loved it and she the first person I heard talk about it when you put this on and you rub it onto your face it starts to warm up and it goes from the honey looking gel to a white cream I have one of my other favorite masks is the pixie in shower steam mask where it looks like a white gel and as soon as i get in the shower as soon as i get in the bathroom to take a shower i rub it onto my face and it starts to warm up it turns into like a white uh cream and as you're in the shower the steam kind of activates it i do it for my face and my chest and when i use that when i tell you my face feels so clean i really do feel like the heat it really pulls all of the grime out of your pores. So this seems to be something just like that. And like I said, I love that pixie one. So I wanted to try this one out and see if it's just like that and how it works. And again, people were raving about it. So it was in the add-on store for smells, smells like a jar of honey. Again, I hope I don't eat this. Pharmacy has a way of making all their stuff smell edible. Um, I believe this was anywhere between twelve and eighteen dollars, and it's normally thirty-eight or forty dollars. So I thought it was a really good price, and finally be able to try this out. And the next thing I got is this Alamar Cosmetics birthday suit gloss. I got this one because when I tell you, everybody was raving about this gloss and how beautiful it is. And I have the Coqueta lip gloss, and they have a really beautiful formula. And I love lip glosses like this. It's a beautiful pink with reflex in it. And I know they came up with this together with a matching lip pencil. They didn't have the lip pencil on add-ons, but I did get the gloss and it's really pretty. It has like some pink and purple reflex in it that goes really perfectly with the with their palette, with the Spanglish palette that I have. So excited to use this and try out the formula for this one. And the last thing I got in add-ons is the Ace Beauty Blush in Paradise palette. Why did nobody tell me about this palette? Why did I not hear anything about this palette? I got the bronze in Paradise palette in uh, my BoxyCharm a couple months ago in the fall. And I love it. I love the formula. I love that it goes deep enough uh, for deeper skin tones to use. Why have I not seen this on add-ons, seen anybody talk about getting it in a box? It wasn't until a couple, you know, like a week or two ago, uh, one of the girls that I follow on Instagram, she was doing a tutorial and she pulled this out. And I'm like, girl, where'd you get that? And she's like, oh yeah, I got this in my boxy charm. I'm like, I haven't seen or heard about that from anybody. And she's like, yeah, I got this like months ago. So, you know, as soon as add-ons was open, I ran in there to find this. And it was there and I got it. And it was super cheap. It was $6, $6. And like I said, Ace Beauté, their eyeshadow formula from the ones I've tried are not my favorite. They're not horrible but they're not my favorite. They're on par with these Ofra eyeshadows. I can work with them. I can work with almost anything. But their face products, those bronzers, are beautiful. So I was like, I had to have the blush palette to go with it. Come on. And I know in our February boxes, we are getting a Ace Beauté eyeshadow palette, the nocturnal one. So I'll probably use all three products together. You know me, I like putting brands together with their stuff so yeah really excited to get this look at the beautiful pink floral packaging love it okay right i've been here long enough i've taught you guys to death that was the stuff that i got in my add-ons for january again let me know down below which one of the boxes you think was more valuable in your mind 
I'm really happy with all the products that I got today. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.